he was diagnosed with diverticulitis. He did go to the hospital, and he was like in a lot, a lot, a lot of pain. Yeah. And he was finally convinced to go. And when he got there, they were like, it's a good thing you came here because you'd have been dead in 24 hours. That's yeah. all true. They also told me one shot to the stomach could kill you. Yeah. I don't think they told him that. It's possible. But my guess is that that was for storyline purposes, as we saw later. Brian, Brian and Vinny, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other So we had a lot of complaints about Dynamite. The new champion, Swerve, was not nearly celebrated enough. Well, he opens the show with a promo and closes Collision with the main event. And he was great in both roles. They started announcing things for the show. One of them is the return of Roosh. This guy's been gone I don't even know how long. The return of Phoenix. Oh, yeah. He's just back. The debut of the Grizzled Young Vets. Yeah. We're going to have Swerve defending the AEW World Heavyweight title on Collision. If you watched Dynamite and then went out to spend the weekend, you had no earthly idea these things were happening. The Beast Mortos. <laughs> yes. My new favorite name. Never Beast Mortos or even just Mortos. Always all three words. The Beast Mortos. Uh, even though he's been gone since October, you would never have known. This guy was fucking Oh my God, this man. Great. Mess. When I tell you that Ray Phoenix lands on his head... He literally lands on his head. He stands there like an exclamation point. It's the craziest thing. He then points at Nana, pulls Swerve in, whispers something to him, and leaves. Mm. Why would you remove Prince Nana from this act? That seems terrible. Please don't do that. It's like they've created an arena out of cars. You're not actually yes. going out yeah, into yeah, the yeah. parking lot. It's like, okay, you guys want a parking lot brawl? All right. Hey, Bob, we need like six cars. And then they have some guy like, you know, make an arena out of cars. Yeah, it's a worked parking lot. Exactly. <laughs> it is not supposed to be a shoot parking lot. So I want everyone to make their suggestions for different things that we could do for a best of three falls contest. Spin the wheel for fall one. Spin the wheel for fall two. If needed, spin the wheel for fall three. Do you have a wheel? I can get a wheel. It's a wheel. What do I look up? Wheel. <laughs> a lot, a lot of options on house. Amazon yeah, I'm sure. for a wheel. <laughs> Brian, you sound like the guy I'm talking about on this match tonight. Miz. Yeah. Oh, stop. Oh. <laughs> his, his, Huge pop. Grand, you know Miz is Brian's favorite wrestler? <laughs> Braggers Nights. What? 2000, Start over. Again. Start over. Braggers, Braggers Nights? After a few brags by Miz. A few match. brags? <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. The match started with body hugged tugs. <laughs> body <More>. tugs? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wow! What kind of show is this? <laughs> that that's where you put your arm around the middle and oh, tag, okay. trying to tag them around. A tug? You reach around from behind <laughs> and tug. Brian, stop. Okay. Miz jumps out of the ring to slow down his uh, hurting. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna tear this apart, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> no, please, please keep reading it. I don't have a beret, so I'm just going to put this thing on my head. He's standing in the back, and he's like this. <laughs> he's just he's just looking depressed. And the ring announcer goes, Frenchie Martin! And he says Frenchie's name, and I swear to God, Frenchie goes like this. Takes his beret. <laughs> and he turns and looks at the people, and he slumps. <laughs> put your phone on camera, you will not get sued. The funniest fucking introduction of any wrestler ever. I laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> as soon as Dynamite ended and Rampage began, they lost 200,000 viewers. They said, I'm not watching Rampage. It is a show that AEW fans have decided we can skip. Tony Khan welcomes us to Dynamite, says he can't travel. So the Young Bucks, they say they're not fired because they have ironclad contracts with the Founders Clause. These contracts also state that if Tony Khan is unreachable, they will be running the show. This is a weekly episodic storyline. And I think that AEW needs more of these. Where you know when you tune in next week, you're going to see more of this. 
I think the match is going to be good. This is not a strong pay-per-view main event, especially for Double or Nothing. I saw a lot of people get upset about that, and they're like, well, what about Cody and AJ? How, how is that any different? Uh, WWE is on fire, and so they can do AJ Styles and Cody, and like everything's going to be fine, and they're going to roll around, or they're going to roll along and do huge business. But AW is not in that position right now. So Adam Copeland and Buddy Matthews had a good 10-minute match. Unfortunately, they were out there for 20-plus minutes. This crowd was dead for this match. Mm -hmm. One guy goes, boring! Like, it's so loud. And I thought, it was only one guy, but I'm not sure I've ever heard someone chant boring on an AEW show. Rare. Joe was a big dick for all of 2023. Yep. Wins the world title. Is still a dick. Defends the world title for a while. Still a dick. Loses the title. He comes out here. And, like, he hasn't had a baby face turn I missed. It appears he's a baby face. This drives me nuts. I don't know why we can't just have baby faces and heels. It makes things so much easier. I could talk about this match for hours. Yeah. And he takes his puck. Boom. Throws it right at fucking Shibata's face. They're three feet apart. And Shibata goes, ah! <laughs> Jericho was supposed to throw this can at Shibata. Gotcha. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, they're doing the match, and Shibata decides he's going to kick the can out of the ring. Uh -huh. He's got, the, I guess he's got the puck. Got and puck. my presumption is, like, he just tried to throw it as light as humanly possible. Yes. You know, Shibata saw the puck. Uh -huh. Like, he knew it was coming. Uh -huh. And uh, and that's that's what happened. Stokely and Chris are banned from ringside for Willow's match, to which Stokely replies, Aside from my own actions, what did I do to deserve this? I laughed so hard at that line. <laughs> He was diagnosed with diverticulitis. He did go to the hospital, and he was, like, in a lot, a lot, a lot of pain. Yeah. And he was finally convinced to go. And when he got there, they were like, it's a good thing you came here because you'd have been dead in 24 hours. That's yeah. all true. They also told me one shot to the stomach could kill you. Yeah. I don't think they told him that. It's possible. But my guess is that that was for storyline purposes, as we saw later. The best stuff they do is the stuff that is so simple. He comes back. He's got a problem. He can't get hit in the gut. They turn on him, and they attack his gut. They beat him down. And that's the end of him for the foreseeable future. I watched his promo, and I really liked it. Apparently what happened was Lash came out and forgot everything she was supposed to say. She came out and totally blanked. And so they went back and forth. With all sorts of sexual innuendos. The fans are going totally nuts. In this envelope, she says, is the truth. And the fans are chanting, he's the daddy. Yes. I've heard the phrase in wrestling, puppies with big paws. These men are walruses with big flippers. Because they're huge and very athletic. But they also have very little idea of what they're doing. There's going to be a combine. Oh, no. And the 12 wrestlers who look the best will have six singles matches. The winner's going to the ladder match. You have to work it, right? Why would you do that? I don't know. A worked combine? I don't know. This I gotta see. So it's Lola Vice versus Natalia NXT Underground at the main event. I thought the two women did a great job. I thought the booking, like, killed the concept of NXT Underground. It totally killed it. If you're gonna yes. do a scoopy pro wrestling finish anyway, why not do a pro wrestling match? Just have a match. Yeah. It's like, how many fucking people are surrounding the ring, and you just keep letting Shayna interfere? Yeah. It was an odd show, looking back it at it. It was an odd show, but like there was a lot I liked, but there was also like a lot of weird stuff. Sounds like every wrestling show. <laughs>